The intravenous fluid delivery monitoring system is a smart medical instrument designed to increase the overall safety of administering intravenous fluids for both nurses and patients alike in any healthcare setting. While current similar solutions on the market focus solely on monitoring and flow control aspects, this device will implement key improvements that effectively eliminate the potential of sharps injuries for medical personnel, reduce the risk of repetitive motion injuries, and increase the overall safety of patients. The goal of IFDAMS is not only to bring essential advancements to current designs, but provide much needed affordability in an industry saturated with high price tags. This is the basic overview of the IFDAMS device. Uh, the top layer is mostly focusing on the sensors that we will talk about later. We have uh, three different layers to our device. That is the uh, PCB on the bottom layer. That's going to be our air bubble detector. On the outside, we're going to have a LCD and keypad. That is the spiked bag. That is our goal. And then we have there the uh, gear railings, the gear off to the left there. That's our IR sensor that gets the drip rate and the gripper. Uh, right there is the uh, port stabilizer. That's what's going to hold the port of the bag stopped and flush so that we are able to spike the bag. And there we can see that we are putting it on. So it should just snap in place and then it should be at around the same height as the uh, spiker. Uh, this is going to be our interface, our user interface with the nurse, uh, the keypad, and the LCD uh, that comes with a series of different instructions. So there you can see that we are going to put the uh, tubing into the device and the motion that I did beforehand is going to be a little bit of a reset. So there it grabs it. And then the nurse is going to be able to put different actions after that. This is our air bubble detector. So we want our flow to stop once the air bubble detector detects any kind of uh, air bubbles because we don't want those being inside of the patient so as the light turns on that means that there is airflow and as the light turns off that means there is liquid again and there we can see the little functionality we have an alarm with this that is going to be setting off as this action is going through this is the liquid level sensor that little light indicates that it's detecting air and the alarm will go off and then when the light is off it is detecting liquid that is our proximity sensor that is going to be showing uh, when the door is closed we want to make sure that our device is going forward as our door is shut so that everything inside of this device is going to be secure There we can see that you can now enter the flow rate once the door is closed. This is going to be our uh, servo motor that goes through the gear railing, that is our auto spiker. And you can see there is the actual gear that is going to be moving our uh, claw that is holding the drip chamber. That's what we saw a little bit in the beginning of the video. So once you queue up the device, it is going to go ahead and spike the bag. And this is our IR sensor. This is what's going to be getting the drip rate every time it drips. We're going to do some calculations in our microcontroller and that will get the uh, flow rate and we will try to manipulate that with a motor. So there we can see the drops and this LED is signifying every time the drop goes through and so that signal will be going inside of our microcontroller. Some key improvements that can be made to our design include changing out the material in the device housing for something other than 3D printed PLA, replacing the current auto spiker design with something that more mimics the twisty motions nurses utilize when spiking a bag, and swapping out the current LCD and keypad for a more user-friendly touchscreen interface. The intravenous fluid delivery and monitoring system was intended to provide affordability, ease of use, and additional safety features over current similar solutions available on the market. Through our implementation of sensors to monitor the flow rate, liquid level, and detect for air bubbles, as well as providing a hands-free auto spiker, we were successful in what we had envisioned for our project.